Hi everyone, it's Tammy. And for today's tutorial, we're going to do this fun card. So it has a little belly band that you could just pull off. And then it opens like, oh, whoops, I have it upside down. <laughs> it opens like this. And then this opens as well, so you can leave your note underneath. Isn't that cute? And this I am calling a gate fold. Um, because I think that that's what it's called. I don't know. I've seen things similar to this and more, man, let me tell you, when you guys told me in 2017, when I asked what you guys wanted to see, and a lot of you said more tutorials and you wanted different folds and stuff. That was a real challenge for me because I love to have different folded cards, but they are a little hard to teach sometimes. And, um, they are just a challenge for me. So I thought, well, you know what? I like them. Let's do them. Let's figure it out. This card, although it's seemingly simple, took me forever to figure out. And let me show you some of the paper. I'm not even talking all. And I'm using, this is my high quality Stampin' Up! paper. Why I didn't start with some cheapo paper, even just copy paper and do it is beyond me. I am just destined to, this isn't the first card I've done this with either. Um, I mean, I have tons of scraps over here with score lines that are in wrong places. Um, I have just about every color. <laughs> It's crazy. So I, I I don't learn from my mistakes, I guess is my point. But um, I do normally, but it's just crazy. And I just thought this was hilarious because I probably went through at least six car six pieces of this beautiful sky blue um, cardstock before I figured it out. Crazy, crazy, crazy. And my actual measurements are here on this. So... This is my finished, finally, but look how many, there's like different score lines all over here, all over here, and if you notice, I think that this one is still bigger. Yeah, this one is still too big for the card. It's so funny. So bear with me if this is a little bit of a, of a journey. I will have the directions below with the cuts and the score lines. Now the other directions you're going to have to um, watch to, to know how to do it, but um, let's go ahead and get started. <laughs> so you will start with a regular piece of cardstock. And I'm going to take it this way and I'm going to cut it at five and a half. So I do this with confidence as though I know exactly what I'm doing. And I'm going to want to cut a quarter of an inch off. So I really only want it to be eight and a quarter by five and a half. And I tried to figure out how to make this little piece not have to be cut off, but I got so frustrated at the end when I got it with, with it cut off. I'm like, we're just going to deal with it cut off. So there's that. And then you need um, to score it at one and an eighth. One and an eighth. And three and a quarter on each side. Three and a quarter. I'm measuring twice on this one. So doesn't look right. I'm trusting my measurements. <sighs> One and an eighth, and three and a quarter. This is so not right. Oh my goodness. <sighs> that 
that's because we needed to do the 11 inch side. I'm totally lying. See what I mean? So now this goes in my scrap pile. Crafted in real life, people. Forget what I said about that. <laughs> Let me find another piece of this denim colored. Running low. Okay. I want it to be. I want to cut it at five and a half this way. I should have known because it takes almost a whole card to make or a whole sheet to make this. So I am sorry about that, guys. Cut it at five and a half this way. <laughs> wow, we will get it. And then cut a half of an inch off. Or a quarter of an inch, quarter of an inch, quarter of an inch, quarter of an inch. Cut a quarter of an inch off. Now, score it at one and an eighth. And three and a quarter. This is way better. One and an eighth. And three and a quarter. I don't know why this keeps making that noise. That is way better. So hopefully you guys can see those score lines. Maybe that side's easier. I don't know. Yay. That's all I've got to say. <laughs> So now we need, and then we also need the band. And I just did the band because I don't like it. I don't know. It, it lays better now, but it's kind of, it's bulky. So I kind of like this just to help keep it closed. And you could decorate this up too, but I thought with all of the decoration that's already on the card, I didn't need to put anything here, but you certainly could. And it would still be cute, I bet, but... So for that, how long did I use? I think I just took this whole thing and I just bent it around. But this is, I started at an inch by 12 inches. And I don't know if that is too long or not. Um, you could probably get by with much less. We'll figure that out in a minute. We're just gonna leave that in the side. But just so you know, you're gonna need another piece for the band. I'm sure that if you wanted to use this same color for the band, you could certainly do that. I guess that was my point of trying to get that. So then we're going to need to layer this. So we need a layer here, we'll need a layer here, a layer here, and then you're also, this is going to be folded in and in and then out and out. So you need also a layer, and of course it's not touching in the middle, but I'm not going to worry about it. So you need two of these panels, one for each of, you need one for each of these, and then you're going to need two this size for that, but then when you open it up, you need two for the inside as well. So you need four of these, one of these, and two of these. So hopefully that makes sense. So these, I'm just going to tell you the measurements. These you need to be one by five and a quarter. These, and you're going to need four of them, you need those to be two by five and a quarter. And then the middle back here, you need four by five and a quarter. So <clears throat> I'm gonna put this over here and I'm just gonna prepare all of my layers. So I have one here, this is two by five and a quarter. So I have two of those. <clears throat> And then I need two more. Oh, it looks like I have a choice. I kind of like... This is going to be my middle piece. I don't know. I have a choice. I, I made 
more just because I, when I was doing that card, it was just as easy. So I'll just do that. And then I have my middle piece. And the only reason I added these was because I really liked the design on the inside of the card. So let me switch it up a little bit. I went with four by five and a half and I scored it at a quarter of an inch. So normally that would be a cut line and you would just put this in the middle and you could be done. Because I'm adding this, I needed something to hold it down. So I added a little lip, a quarter inch lip, so that I could attach this to it and then this will be stuck to the card and then I can lift it up. Hopefully that made sense. So let's go ahead and do that part first. So I'm gonna put a strong adhesive on here because again, this is an interactive piece and someone might be messing with it more than usual. I know I would. So I'm gonna put my strong adhesive, which oops, is a quarter of an inch, so that works out well, right here. And this is my tearing, but I love this stuff. And I'm going to go ahead and score, or I've already scored it. I'm going to go ahead and burnish it so that it knows that that's where you're going to fold. And then I'm taking this, and then I'm going to open it up, and I'm going to line the top of this piece up with the score line of my base piece. And I just thought that was fun, a little more interactive and interesting. Now I can just use regular adhesive to adhere this to the base of my card. I'm just centering this from left to right and from up and down. And then I need two for the outside. I kind of like that. That's cute, but not really what I want. And that's cute too with the flower, so let me see which one I like better. I just really like these, so I'm gonna do those, and then I think I'm gonna do the flowers on the outside. Sometimes picking out my colors and my stuff to go in it just takes longer than making the card. It's insane sometimes how much time I spend doing stuff like that. I'm like, Tammy, just stop. It doesn't matter that much. I have to tell myself that often. <laughs> oh, and then I didn't make the little, the little side ones yet, did I? Well, I can do that with the one I'm not using, which is the little perfume one. So I need these to be, was it one, just double checking, one by five and a quarter. So they're already cut at five and a quarter. I'm just going to cut it at one, which is just halfway. So then I'll just put adhesive on that. this in the middle and then this one goes over here Last but not least, this one goes over here. Now I didn't burnish my edges on this one and I probably need to, I definitely need to. So let's go ahead and do that. There we go. 
And then we're going to make the belly band. So to do that, I'm just taking this and folding it over and then folding it over. So it's just like this. So let's see, how much could you get by with? You need for this to be at least that long, which is, where's, I can give you any measuring tape. I would say you want this to be at least, well, oh goodness, probably nine inches long. Let me just double check. Yes, you want this to be at least nine inches long. And then however wide you want it to be is perfectly fine. I went with an inch, but you could do more or less however you wanted. And if you have more than nine, it won't hurt it at all. So this leftover is 11. That's perfectly fine if you wanted to use that. I just wanted to use something contrasting just because I had it. I've you know, been using this. So what, what you do then is you take your adhesive and you put a little bit on the front of one of the ends and then on the back of the other one of the ends. So the one with the front you put down first and then the one with the back you put down on top of the one with the front and you stick both sides. And that's all there is to that makes a cute little belly band. This is scrap pile. So you can pull this off and then your cute little card. And I had contemplated whether or not to put a lift or something here, but I figured if I was writing a note, you would see the end of it down here and this kind of pops up anyway. It makes you want to lift it up. So I don't think that a descriptive verb is needed. And there we go. That is card, um, not number two. I was getting ready to do a different series, wasn't I? This is the tutorial for this week. I hope that you guys enjoy. I hope that you guys try it. It's really not as complicated as I made it seem, as long as you just follow the measurements. It, the measure, figuring it out was the hardest part. And you can see it's still not perfect. This one I think was, yeah, this one was better. I don't know, but I don't think it matters enough to make it, it was probably just a mismeasurement mis on my part somewhere along the road so it doesn't really matter I need to not fret over it the recipient is going to like it just the same and yeah I mean you can't even really tell so there we go thanks so much guys bye bye